All right, people. Welcome back to the Dirty Pat Walsh channel with me, your host, Dirty Pat Walsh. I know uh, I'm going through these sago dips right now. I was pretty shell shocked from the one yesterday. That was I can't even express how how bad that was, and I had to like clean out my spittoon right away because it like made my whole room smell. Oh, it's disgusting. So. I know I said I was going to do the mint today, but I'm I'm just drawn to doing the winter green today. So we'll maybe do the win the mint tomorrow or later today. So here we go, sago, long cut, winter green, smokeless tobacco, tobacco sans fumé. Um, I didn't mention this yesterday, but this is made in the USA. For Grand River Enterprises, Six Nations Limited, Oshawakin, Ontario, 54TL25. So, yeah, this is actually made in the USA. So, I don't know who makes it over there. But, you know, French warning label, barcode, English warning label, mirror, so you can look at your face of repulsion after taking a dip of sago dip and I love the little branding there and uh, all it has on the bottom is a very faint uh, date that tells me this is a year and, and a month shy of a year and a half out of date <laughs> so it's pretty old um, it's just a crappy old school Canadian can with a with a lid uh, or a, a sticker on the lid and we're gonna crack crack it open here I am not excited about this this is when I feel for my friends uh, Berg's Dip Reviews and Suit and Tie Dip and Chew Guy for when they get into the nasty stuff <laughs> usually, I, usually I just love dip uh, yesterday was the first time I've actually really fucking hated a dip Okay, so the top's off. There's a chunk stuck on the lid there, so it's probably still pretty moist. And it is. And that's what scares me, kind of. It's a year and a half out of date, and this stuff is wetter than a can of fresh Copenhagen. Like it, you can almost hear it squishing. Uh, anyhow, the cut is like, a, I said kind of like a Timberwolf kind of cut. I stand by that. It's not really, it's like a mid cut. So let's do this. Sago, long cut winter green. Huh. Well, definitely better first impression than yesterday but no 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 it's that same taste from the first one with wintergreen thrown on top of it. <coughs> oh my god. Oh, that make oh, it's even worse. Bah. It's like that the original It's like they super soaked it in the fucking 1970s cologne that they soaked the original in and then Put really bad wintergreen on. Hold on for a sec. Oh God! Need some. Gotta wash wash that awfulness away. That was. Oh, yeah. I can still taste it. Normally, I don't think I'd take that fat of pinch stokers, but holy, okay. So yeah, 
my my final verdict on say I put the I just I put the can away. Um, oh, that's disgusting. Mmm. Okay, Bobby Stoker, thank you. Hillary, thank you. <laughs> um, that is fucking horrendous, people. Uh, no wonder nobody buys it. It, like, if you watch my video of the original uh, yesterday, like, I've never hated on a can of dip. I've never, you know, uh, there's dips I like above other dips, definitely, and some that I don't really like, but I'd still probably dip them, you know. But that, it's undippable. It's undoable. You can't, like, unless, I don't know what you're, tastes are like if uh if you're into that but holy it's like oh yeah like yesterday the original tasted like it was like cured in fucking karate, high karate cologne or something like that and uh aqua velva some shit you know um and today it tasted exactly like that like that same power of that taste with like a really low nasty wintergreen kind of put on top of it so oh god that was awful I've never I've never spit out dip like that <laughs> um holy crap don't buy sago dip it's bad that's that's the dirty pat walsh review and I think these are the first reviews of sago dip on youtube I've never seen one before, but, uh, oh my God, awful, 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 awful. And I still have the mint to go. So being a mint dipper or, you know, I like to, the mints usually the best. We'll see. Got to do it for the people. So yeah. Um, Shout out to Mr. Spooky Holler for writing a song about me and putting it up, man. I'm honored by that. And uh Oh, that's just such an awful taste. Oh god. Um Yeah. Holy. Anyhow, had a recording session with Tyler yesterday. It was awesome. Um, we may have a new band coming out of this project, so that's kind of cool. Um, and that's about it for now. I'm just, oh, I'm stunned by them. I, I can't talk about anything. That was, that dip is traumatic. It's tra if you're expecting a good dip, it's fucking traumatic. So that's, uh, on a scale of, of one to zero to 10, it's a, uh, it's a traumatic, <laughs> So, yeah. And uh, check out Suit and Tide Dip and Chew Guy's uh, latest review of Skull Straight Pouches. Uh, I sent him a can of Skull Straight Pouches. Um, and, uh, yeah. He did a review of it today. So, go check it out. All right. Be well. Stay free. Have an awesome day. Don't dip Sago. <laughs>